He, God, when God came and put himself into a, a body of a man, Jesus, Jesus the man, when Christ the God went into Jesus the man and put himself inside of there, he, he was the lamb that had been slain before the foundation of the earth. It was a way to put back into man's hands the kingdom of God for the disobedience that Adam committed. Christ in the body of Jesus had to lay down his life in order to put the kingdom of uh, the kingdom of heaven back into the hands of man. Do not complicate the Bible. We get so excited about, uh, 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 about the cross and we stay right there. I'm excited about the cross. We get so excited about what Jesus did at Calvary, but we don't enjoy what the result was of what Jesus did at Calvary. Let me explain it to you. Um, my computer, my computer can do a lot of things. I can search the internet, I can find out data, I can do all kinds of stuff. I can do all kinds of calculations. Uh, I, there's tons of stuff that I can do with my computer. Now, sometimes my laptop has a, um, has a little, uh, has a short in it, and, uh, and I, I don't realize that, that it is, has came unplugged. And I, I'm sitting there, and I'm trying to use it, and the power has went out on it. The battery goes low, it tells me the battery's low, and it's shutting down. And I've lost my connection. I've lost that power. I cannot use my computer now. So I'm sitting here at my computer, and I, I need to use the computer. Now, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, what do I need to do? And, and so I start messing with that. I'm trying, what am I trying to do? There's, there's a connection that I have lost. I have lost a connection with the power. That laptop needs needs power in order to work. I need that con re that connection established. It needs to be re-established so that I can get juice, power, electricity to my laptop so that I can use the laptop again. <laughs> See, without the power, without that connection with the outlet, my battery cannot get power and I cannot use my laptop. So, once I figure out, oh, that it's my connection, I, I, and, and I realize, and I plug it in, I make sure that it's into that little adapter, and I push it in, and then it builds up. I've got that connection going again. Now my laptop can work again. Now I don't sit there and hold my adapter and say, "Man, this is this adapter is so awesome. This adapter is just is great. This is a wonderful adapter. I love this adapter." I, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited that this adapter is providing that power. I don't sit there and just adore that adapter for the, for the next several hours. The point of the adapter is to put power into my laptop so I can use my laptop and get that power and use it and get data and, and Google everything. It's, there's a purpose for that for that adapter but I don't sit there I don't I, the adapter is just that connection that's the connection that I need okay now what Jesus did now remember he is God in the flesh when he created everything and I'm gonna have to stop after this because I've got to let you guys settle on this right here because I think this is something we we really need to understand when when Jesus had to come to the earth, it was because of the disobedience of man, right? I think it, you guys know that from Romans. Uh, it, because of the disobedience of one person, all man had disobeyed. All man were born into sin. Remember the beginning. God created the heavens. He created the earth. created man. created a body for man. And he put man inside of the body, a human made him human. He told them, you can eat of anything, multiply the earth, I give you dominion, I let them have dominion over everything in the earth, everything in the sea, everything. He gave them that. 
He said, just don't do this. Do not eat from this tree. That was the only thing they couldn't do. And man did the one thing they were not supposed to do. And so they lost rulership. They fell from dominion. They fell from a place of authority. So God knew he had to make a way to reestablish this connection. See, God is so holy that if he speaks something, it has to happen. It becomes a law even to God. So when he said that if you eat of this tree, the day that you do it, you shall die. And the day they did it, they died. Immediately, their bodies were no longer immortal. And they began to die. They lived for many, many more years, but they were dead in two ways. One, they weren't immortal anymore. They were, their bodies were immediately decaying and dying. Number two, they died spiritually. They had lost rulership. They had lost dominion. They had lost authority in the earth. They had lost it. They fell from this place of power and a place of authority. And it wasn't because God said, oh, you know, he can't do like us sometimes. You know how, you know how your kid acts up and you say, if you do that one more time, this is going to happen. And then they do it and you really don't want to punish them with that. And so you say, I told you not to do that. I mean it now. Don't test me. See, God can't do that. If he says something, he's bound by it. There isn't a first, second, and third chance unless he says there'll be three chances if God said, oh, there will be three chances, then there'll be three chances. But if he says, if you do this, this will happen. It has to happen. He's made a law, and it's a law even unto himself. Because he is so holy, he will not violate his own word. He will not violate what he has said. And so when he made that declaration that the day you do this, you shall die. Well, what they do? They did it, and they fell. And they fell from dominion. They fell from power. They fell from authority. And they lost that place of positioning they had. Now God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world but that the world through him, through Jesus, might be saved. He came to reestablish that connection. John was a forerunner of the things that were to come. John was in the wilderness preaching. Repent. What does repent mean? It means change. He's telling them, change. Change your ways. Return. Return unto God. Repent. Make way for the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And then here comes Jesus on the scene. Repent, his first message, Matthew 4, 17. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has arrived. That was Jesus' message. The kingdom of heaven is here. He came back to put you back into connection with the Father. You had lost your connection because of the disobedience of Adam. Because of the first Adam, you had lost your connection. But because of the second Adam, that connection was reestablished. That was the purpose of the cross. Do you realize that there are people that they are they are infatuated and they preach on nothing but the cross, but they do not enjoy what the cross was a means to. The cross, read my lips, the cross was a means to the end. But we make the cross the end. 